All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Not Aquarius, Aquarius Life. Life. I'm your girl, Adas, the soul star, the Virgo. Hey, it's your guy, t Stunt, the Aquarius. Y'all What's know how on? we get down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, first of all, we just want to apologize. Our last episode, we actually didn't drop it. I know we've been saying we're going to drop an episode every Friday. We had a lot going on last weekend. It was a great weekend. Right, right, right. There was, was a lot going on. Field of adventures and <laughs> mo adventures. And Can we say the entire weekend? It was adventure. It looked fine. Look, it, it was very adventureful. Y'all, we had family come in town. It was a wonderful weekend. But shout out to your wonderful grandmother. Um, we were actually at a banquet. Yes. On Friday night in her honor, the fourth annual mm-hmm. um, banquet. And so, um, I forgot, what, do you remember the name of it? Oh, I feel so bad, but. It's the Irma Johnson Hadley Banquet. Thank you. And for so, the, uh, in the Juneteenth celebration banquet as well. Yes, and it was so nice to see everyone there. Um, all the people who were honored, who came mm-hmm. out and who were honored. Um, it was such an honor, speaking of honors. Mm-hmm. To meet Miss, uh, uh, what was her name, Miss Lee? Uh, uh, Opal. Opal Lee. Opal Lee. I was gonna say Ruby, and I knew that wasn't it. Mm-mm. Opal Lee. So Opal. if you guys don't know Opal Lee, Google her, okay? Because this woman was right next to President Biden when he signed um, into law the new um, Juneteenth holiday. He made it a holiday. Official. And she walked from uh, from Texas to D.C. From Funky Town, my 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 neighborhood. She's from my neighborhood, and yeah, I was like, "Whoa!" So you, it was just, just a long walk. Man. Yes, um, I'm wondering. I'm like, okay, did she walk a little bit, and then like maybe they flew no, a little bit, no, or maybe they took a no. bus. Anyway, <laughs> no, she walked. She walked the whole the whole team. So y'all check out her story because she has a website as well, Miss Opal Lee. Shout out to her and. At some point, we'll get that picture that we took, right, babe? Yeah, <laughs> you, you know how uh, Muslim laws do. You know how they do. It's all good. So, anyway, y'all, just for those people who may be new to our show, to our podcast, um, we are Adios, the Soul Star, and T Stunt. We are artists, entrepreneurs, and content creators. Our mission is to share our love story and our lives in hopes of helping others find their true love. And encourage you to work together as a team to become a power couple. Now, if you're already in a relationship um, and you just love our show just to, you know, get another married couple's perspective, we appreciate you guys as well. For shakity. So, um, and we're not saying we have all the questions, the uh, the answers, because one, we are not, um, we are not psychiatrists. Look here, people. This is not <laughs> Dr. Phil. This is not Dr. Feel Good. This is not Love Jones Connection. None of that. <laughs> not Love Jones uh, Connection, Lord. Right. I, what, whatever. <laughs> this, 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 look, we're not trained professionals, so no. everything we say in here, hey, just take it as fun, as good fun for your entertainment. You yeah. know, pretty much I get to peek out on, on a lot. Our, our lives. lives, yeah, and for so, those individuals who know us from the music as well, because right. we're artists, you know, we are. We just formed our group, our duet. Um, I won't say duet, but our duo, uh, melodic. And so, uh, you know, the thing with that is, like, first of all, let's just say we got a new single out. Shizzle. So, if you guys haven't checked that out, we are going to play it at the end of this episode. For sure. So y'all gonna have to check that out. PDA Show Me by Melodic. But yeah, so shout out mm-hmm. to those of you who found us through the music. Um, but for those individuals who didn't find us through the music, go and check us out. Melodic. I am a singer. I am a poet. I'm also a hip hop artist. T Stunt is a hip hop artist. Hey, you know I'm the rapper. <laughs> and he, you know, but he's a hip hop artist who That's loves real. soul and, hey, I love and melodic, anything melodic and yes. harmonious. All things good music. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, which we need. We are in a dire need of some good some good music. And that's why we're some, here to put out some trash good music. out there right now. <laughs> yeah, so that being said, y'all check us out. We hope y'all love it. All right. And then, you know, what better way for us to really 
help individuals find their true love than for us to tell how we met. Um, it's so funny because it started out as us having an episode for our mm. love story and how we met, but it turns out as we go on this journey together, this podcast is a journey. Yeah. Everything that we do is a journey. And so yeah. our story of how we met is also a journey. And so it's going to take some episodes for us to really mm. um, get to the meat and potatoes of everything that went down. And, of course, we're not going to talk about every single detail. Because, of course I mean, we got to leave some stuff for us. You're right? We got to leave some stuff for us. But, um, right, 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 right. And leave some stuff to the imagination. Right. Um, but you know, Show a little hip, little thigh, more pleasure for the eye. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I like that. Yeah. Little, hip, little thigh, a little pleasure for the eyes. Okay, I like that. I haven't yeah. heard that before, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> 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 oh, that was loud. <laughs> <laughs> then it got caught on uh, the cord. I'm so upset. No, anyway, y'all, so, um, but you can find Aquarius Life anywhere where you listen to podcasts. Spreaker. Um, last I checked, we weren't on iHeart yet, but Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Just look wherever you listen to all your podcasts. Just look for us there. Is that just where you will find us? So tonight's episode, mm-hmm. we're talking about what it's like to be newlyweds. Man, what is it like? What is it like? What is it like? Um, so this is obviously for people who are single, mm-hmm. who don't know, who've never been a, a newlywed. Right. And this is us giving you all an insight to that. Yeah. Um. And we actually get, whenever we do talk to people, they ask, so what, how do you feel? How's it, how's married life? That's, that's what everyone asks, right? How's married life? Yeah, they always ask, how's it going? Y'all, you good? Everything's all right? Like, everything is good for the most part. I mean, I have no complaints. (laughs) Yeah, no, no complaints. Um, I Mm. feel like if you're too excited when you answer that question, people are like already ready to be like, "Mm -hmm." Mm mm-hmm. Like, so I was like, some issues maybe we should be a little bit more demure. All right. <laughs> you but know. nah, nah, everything is a uh, couple steady, you know. We, we moving, we doing what we're supposed moving to do. Room. Well, I will say, being, okay, so for me, I would say being a newlywed is, it is quite the experience because, I mean, hey, it's a new life. It's literally what Princess Jasmine was singing about in Aladdin. It's a whole new world. Mm. Okay. Don't you dare close your eyes. Don't you dare close your eyes. Okay. (laughs) 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 We have Disney kids over here. Hello, millennials. (laughs) Some Disney babies. But no, so. But seriously, it's a whole new world. It's not the same. You go through things. Um, So Mm. we joined a marriage group on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And we see a lot of stuff in there. Um, oh, married couple. Lord. Mm. Yeah. But one of the things mm. that got me, babe, when we first got married was mm-hmm. someone asked, did any of you lose friends when you got married? You know what? Mm-hmm. I can't really say that I have lost. Well, yeah, I have. Mm-hmm. I have lost a few friends. I lost a few. Well, I lost a few friends, but it's not even a bad thing. To me, it just feels like, um, you know, it just feels like metamorphosis, right? When you go from being, you know, um, from being a worm, then you go into a cocoon, and then you, or a caterpillar, you go into a cocoon, and then you become a butterfly. Like, it's a metamorphosis. It's growth. You're just, you're just experiencing growth and going to the next chapter. And it's like the older you get, the more you realize that's what it is. Because, when I was single, I used to feel like feel bad when people say, "Oh, well, when you know when people get married, you know they stop coming around, and you're pretty much gonna lose your friend when they get married." But it's not a really a bad thing. You know, I don't even and see that's one thing too about the guys. Like, so I see my guys whenever I get to see my guys. You know, I, it's not like I got a rope and chain around my neck when I can't go see the guys. So I mean, right, like. Because that's the kind the relationship that we have, mm-hmm. the kind of relationship that we have is, I we don't trip. We mm-hmm. we believe wholeheartedly in each other having our own lives. <laughs> I'm, saying, you, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go to the trap. Okay. 
you have your friends and your friend, you and your friends want to go out, as long as we don't have anything going on, I say, hey, I'm chunk and deuce. I'm like, have a good time. I'll holler at you when you get to the crib. Mm-hmm. Because one, you are, we already have established what's too late for him to come home. Right. We've established it. Um, and if it's going to be later, he knows to call and let me know. Because nine times out of ten, I'm not asleep. I'm probably doing something. And vice versa, if I decide to go anywhere. But honestly, I don't go too many places. Like, with the pandemic and stuff, mm. I really just have just... I'm already a homebody, but I've been even more of a hermit. Like, I'm no a Virgo, cold, so no I, we, we tend to be hermits in the house. <laughs> and be content. I would be so happy just being by myself. <laughs> um, but that's just me. But at the same time, you know, I do miss hanging out with friends and doing fun stuff. However, um, when you when you are a newlywed, like you're trying to get your family together and your household together, um, especially me being a woman and getting married. Not only did I become a wife, but I became a mother. Um, so that's something that I was not used to because I have never had children of my own. Right. And before y'all get to saying, dang, that was quick. No, I came in this uh, <laughs> this marriage with my own. <laughs> right. There you go. That's my bonus, baby. Yeah. So. Um, and so, everything is good. Everything. I, I, I like it. Excellent. I really, really like it. <laughs> I love I like it. The diamond, I like the dynamic between y'all two. <laughs> oh, that is my baby. Love me some him. Um, but, yeah, so that that's where I am. You know, just becoming a wife and a mother is a, is a metamorphosis. It is a real process, a transformation, if you will. Um, so it's not anything to take personally. I do appreciate my friends who, because I, I, I have several friends. Um, I have friends all over. Mm-hmm. Um, and so... I appreciate my friends who understand that I'm a married woman now. You may not hear from me often, but you know I'm still down. You know what I mean? Like, we're still friends no matter what. If you need to call me, you know you can hit me up. You know what I mean? Like, exactly, exactly. It's like that. Beat me up, Scotty. I'll be it's, there. Yeah, it's like that. So if you are single and you have a friend who recently got married and... It's okay. It's you okay. guys don't talk all the time. That's all right. That's it's probably okay. what's going to happen. That person is, is is experiencing a new life, and the best thing you could do if you're going to be a good friend is to just be thankful, be appreciative um, that they're happy, be thankful that they're happy, be happy that they're happy, I should say. And, you know, expect the same thing for yourself. You know what I mean? Because I never was one to be jealous of anybody else and their happiness. I was always Mm-mm. like, even when I was single, I would always be like, shoot, the same God that will bless them with the love of their life, that's who's going to bless me with the love of my life. Um, I was always optimistic. It's really interesting, babe, that I had people who mm. were so shocked that I got married. Mm. Well, 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 I don't know. Apparently, I came off as someone who didn't care about love, but it was like, no, it's not that I didn't care about love. I didn't care about love when it came to the wrong being with the wrong person. Like, I didn't want to be the wrong person. And I never cared about wasting my time. And uh-huh. I think people have that confused. They're going to, a lot of people waste their time with people. Mm-hmm. And then when it goes to shit, like, you know, they're back to square one. But like, you thinking that I'm, I don't care about love. Like, no, but I don't want to keep striking out either. So I'd rather just do me. Yeah, figure sure. it out, or figure out what it is I, I really want in life. And, nah. You know what I'm saying? Then be dating people that we don't have any business being together. Yeah, and I and I mean, we've all been there to the point where we done dated somebody that we know for sure our top was toxic. Yeah, and a lot of people date people because who are toxic and know mm. they're toxic because they don't want to be single. I mean, here it is. We're we're getting to the holidays. Shout out! Oh, it's yeah. eleven eleven. I 11, like those 11. numbers. Yeah, um, yeah. Did it turn 11 yet? No, it's still, not it's yet. Off. Not oh, okay, yet. Okay. We'll probably do um, after dark at 11. No, no, <laughs> um, no we got work in the morning. But, <laughs> but, um, but, but seriously though, like when it comes to you know when it comes to um, having a friend who's a newlywed, just understand, right. just, just, just understand that hey, that we're, we're not available all the time. We're, we're working things out. We're trying to get our dynamic together, mm-hmm. get our routines together, get everything 
uh, understanding and um, <clears throat> pretty much just just get used to each other. That mm-hmm. hey, look, this is it. This is our married life. This, this is our how married it's life. Go. Okay, so this is how it's gonna go. Okay, okay. How how we deal with change? Okay, change is good. Okay, how we do with bad change? Okay, is everybody still a unit? You know, is the unit mm-hmm. falling apart? Is it stable? Is it unstable? You know, it's things like that you got to worry about. Other than just, hey, you want to come out on a Tuesday night? Nigga, I got shit to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously. Um, and then not only that, we're not just husband and wife. And, and right, we're partners. We're partners. We're business partners as well. So when it comes to business and career, that's very high on the totem pole for me, which is, I believe is another, another reason why people felt like I wasn't going to get married when I got married because they felt like, oh, it, you know, she's always been about her career, which... Yeah, I am, but I've been just as much about love as I have been for my career. Um, but you know, people don't know the real the the real ins and outs to you. They don't know what re- what it is that really makes you tick. That's one mm-hmm. of the things that I used to always pray for. I actually prayed that God would bless me with the love of my life before I made it big in the music industry because I knew that I knew what my calling was, and I knew no matter what, the Most High would bless me to get there because. One, he knows my heart and what it is I truly want to accomplish. And when you have goals that are selfless, the most high finds a way to make it happen because yeah. you're following your, the you know the path that he put you on. So because I know that, I knew I, w- I always knew I'd be successful, but I said, okay, and, you know, yeah, I'm going to be successful, but I also want to be in love because you know, we've been seeing those celebrities our entire lives. Celebrities yeah. never have. Well, usually don't have happily ever after. Usually they're in a relationship, out that mug, in a relationship, out that relationship. Mm-hmm, like it's, mm-hmm. it's you know, never anything serious. I it, mean, and one so thing, many examples. Oh, yeah, it's too many of that. It's too, yeah, you're going from one to another, one to another. Yeah. And, and you know, they, mm-hmm. that's because they're not really trying to look for a husband or a wife they're looking for the next best thing that's gonna probably be a come up mm-hmm. uh, quite a few of them are and it's sad there's a lot of people out here looking you know thinking of that and, you know looking for a come up for you know to move to a better place to you know do better things versus you know just love mm-hmm. no you're right and honestly like cause when you with somebody for love Y'all going to be together before and after all of the glitz and glam and the fame and the money and the success. Um, so just, you know, really decide what it is that you want in life. But uh, when it comes to marriage and being a newlywed, this is something that you're just going to have to take your time and figure out as a couple. And ho- hopefully and prayerfully, you're real friends because you're not going to lose real friends. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the, the few friends I lost were not. The real deal, holy field friends. And so that's why they gone. Um, and so, like I said, I went through my transformation, my metamorphosis. Mm. I realized the people who were in my life for real and those who were in my life for, you know, um, not being for real. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. In my life for whatever they could get from being in my life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do they love you? Uh, who is that? That song that I love uh, by Fabulous. Do they love you because you've been because you've been official or because you're beneficial? Mm. So. Airport. And I realized that, and so that was that was my experience being a newlywed. And we know that everyone, every newlywed couple, has their own different set of experiences. So please take this how you take it with a grain mm-hmm. of salt. And also, <laughs> too, uh, you know, share your experiences with us. Uh, you know, and we'll. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah. Um, if you guys, yeah, share share it with us your experiences. Um, you can send us an email to vercuarislife at gmail.com. We would love mm-hmm. to read um, some awesome experiences or just experiences in general for newlyweds. If you guys really want to share your experiences with us, um, we would love to share your experience with our listeners. So vercuarislife at gmail.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram, all social media, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Well, not all because we're not on Facebook, right? Uh, no. We're just on Instagram as Vaquarius Life and um, also on um, TikTok. So check out our TikTok videos. We got 
We got some TikTok videos we on there. We definitely do. We definitely do. Aquarius Life. Um, so, yeah, guys. So, um, please keep in contact with us if you are newlyweds. Let us know your story. Because, yeah, we, we have our experience. And right. our experience is, hey, we're just figuring everything out. Then it's during we're, the pandemic too. Exactly. <laughs> so you know, this so it, it, it's different. It is very different, especially, you know, the the this is not traditional, uh, uh, a marriage. I would say. Well, we're not traditional marriage anyway. No, but we're definitely not traditional. But the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we keep teasing y'all with those after dark episodes. They coming. All right, they coming, they coming. We, we promise, we promise. But um uh, <laughs> Yeah, get this. Okay, yeah. My, that's Who's why I, I don't know why you looked that up when we live. Right. But anyway, I mean we're not live, but you know we're recording. Recording. <laughs> but anyway, um so you lost your train of thought? Mm-hmm. It happens. It I, I think that happened to me earlier, actually, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but the point is, y'all. Thank y'all for still being with us. The point is that, you know, being a newlywed is time consuming because you're really figuring out who you guys are together, right. what your life is going to be like. And, you know, as far as like cooking dinners, you know what I'm saying? Like me, I I, I work eight to five, but I still exactly. prepare dinner like every night for my family. So it's, you know, figuring out what works so you don't have to cook as much. You know, you can do your leftovers and stuff. But we're not really a leftover kind of family, so that's hard. Because <laughs> he doesn't like leftovers, and I don't either. Oh, I'm cool with it, it's, though. Well, it depends on what it is, though. Like, if it's leftover, like, um, I'm going to say Italian, of course. I could Sorry, I'm tearing it up. I'm tearing it up. I'm, if it's leftover um, dive in. tacos, yeah, I'm tearing it up for lunch the next day. I'm having tacos or a taco salad or something. Like, it just depends on what it is. Right. But for the most part, we don't really do leftovers. So, because we have some stuff in there, babe, for like a whole week that we didn't even touch since the last time we, you know. I, I know. That's because of what my, <laughs> the, 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 my, my occupation. So, but my point is, just little <laughs> stuff that you have to figure out no, when you're married. <laughs> what works and what doesn't. Um, and then the other thing, too, is, you know, there's certain things about our lifestyle. And we, we can talk a little bit more about that on After Dark. So, if you do want to be become a patron, it's just five dollars a month, and mm-hmm, y'all can mm-hmm. y'all can get a little bit more detail into our <laughs> into our world. Exactly, exactly. I mean, th- this here we just giving y'all just the just the PG PG thirteen PG thirteen yeah. of how our marriage is going and what advice we can give and mm-hmm. all that good. Well, not say advice, but just our our experiences, th- our experiences and just, really exactly, and take with our take from our experiences what you will. Exactly, because I mean, what what might work f- for you? I mean, what might work for us might work for you, and it might not. I mean, right, might. what's good for the goose may not necessarily be good for the gander. So, um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but how, whatever, however it is for you, it's all good. We respect it. Um, all right, but but the main thing is communication across the board. Period. That's how we're able to do all this stuff. That we're able to do music together. We're able to do a podcast together. That to where we're able to run a record company together, at least build one. All right. You know, we're building it right now. But um, Creative Mind Society, CMSMusicGroup.com, shameless plug. But yeah, so that's the reason we're able to do all this together is because we communicate, because we talk all the time about we everything. We really do. We really do. <laughs> I, look, I know it might seem like. I don't on here, but my baby just she just long winded. That's it. <laughs> I am a little long winded. <laughs> my wife is just long winded. That's that's it. Hey, but when I jump in, I will jump in. That's just that's just our dynamic. <laughs> it is our dynamic, and that's that's the thing. Like I hope no one's offended. It seems like we offended somebody with our dynamic, but it's like. It's us. It's how right. we get along. Like, you may be feeling like eight eyes is talking too much, and that it's the eight eyes show, but it's not the eight eyes show. It's not. It's just, hey, look, she's she's more, uh, how can I say, uh, she's more experienced with this podcasting thing than I am. There you go. <laughs> Period. Mm-hmm. And this radio thing. So I, she, yeah, and she has years of radio experience and podcast experience. Me, I don't. So 
this is kind of like new to me talking on the mic all the time and hearing my voice. <laughs> right. So, and I'm glad that you brought that up, babe, to clarify that for those individuals who who don't know. Right. That's why it may seem like I'm taking over the show. <laughs> because and that's why it might seem I like project. I'm just a Kool Aid back to dude because I am that. But yeah, you are. The, you're you're an Aquarius. It's yeah. like that's literally like putting a Virgo and an Aquarius together. That's like that's like Beyonce and J Cole on a you know on dude. a um, okay. podcast. Okay. Je- Beyonce, her shows is always like you know what you're about to get. It's about to go down. You getting a full show. She is dancing. She's giving you light. She's giving you glitter. She's giving you gold. And then like J Cole, he giving you some real, real knowledge, but is is delivered with with just a real cool swag. It, yeah. And that's really just what you got right here. You have a Virgo and an Aquarius. You got a Virquarius. Like the Aquarius is so wise and so intelligent. That's what I respect. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And it's like that that quiet wisdom. Mm-hmm. So you're not you're not missing the Aquarius. You just gotta pay attention. Yes, you gotta pay attention to us. You know, hey, we we some very sneaky creatures, <laughs> and very wise, and very wise. And even the Aquarius that I don't particularly care for, like um, that I've met personally, like you know, they they make good decisions a lot of times. It's just that they don't always make the best decisions. But you can't tell them that. <laughs> They feel like they always do. It's like, no, you don't always. But most mm. of the time, you do. So I think I get why you think you always make the right decision. You don't, but most of the time, you do. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I, my grandmother's an Aquarius. My big sister's an Aquarius. My husband's an Aquarius. Hey. I love Aquarius. Aquarius, gang, 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 gang. I love Aquarius. Um, if you love on an Aquarius today, that's all I can say. <laughs> we are the shiz naive. You dig what I'm saying? You know, nothing, nothing taken from the Virgo. You know, my baby, my love, my, my everything. But I'm just saying, get you one of us if you ain't one of us. Oh. <laughs> you can take none from a Virgo if you try. <laughs> <laughs> Especially this one. <sighs> ain't, ain't no. Not if you try. Ain't nothing. <laughs> I mean, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me, especially now that I got my confidence back. I ain't oh. listening to the naysayers no more. Now you really can't tell me nothing. Because people really try to dim your light, especially if it's bright, but that's a whole nother conversation. Oh, well then. But <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed tonight's right, right. show. For sure. For we hope sugar. y'all got something dope out of it. We really do. All right, I hope y'all did. I mean, you know, again, we we newlyweds, folks, and just like if you know some newlyweds, you know, and I'm speaking to right now, I'm speaking to the older, the the uh, not the, uh, the the seasoned, uh, got the seasoning, the the seasoned uh, bride and grooms out there. Uh, you know, if y'all see a young couple, you know, take them under your wing, you know, show them little ropes a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, it's nothing wrong with you know tossing some wisdom out there. You know. Yeah, wisdom is great, but pointing the finger, judging, blaming, no bueno. Yeah, that part. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, picking apart and just you know no, and and I just want to address um the individual who commented on, on the first episode too. That person mentioned something about us saying that we would not slander anyone. I don't recall saying that out of my mouth, not one time. I think uh, people should stop listening to multiple podcasts and getting them confused. You need to be aware of who you're listening to. Exactly. Because I didn't say anything about slandering. Now, do I slander people? No, I don't. I don't. That's not Mm -mm. even in my DNA. And again, Um, it's (laughs) Facebook. It's not a real place. Half the time. <laughs> well, and I think that individual too, when it comes to Facebook, babe, was talking about like, well, how are you gonna say, well, because he um 
he and he he put that y'all were in a relationship on Facebook, so there was enough reason for you to take him back. Uh, Remember, and then we talked about that a little bit last week uh, too. Yeah. It's like, no, that wasn't it. That was part of it, and also in our generation, because I don't know how old she was, yeah. but she said she was married for twenty or twenty five years, so well, she, she seems did. old. She definitely is yeah. not with us. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's not, not, not with us. And I like, we just got married like twenty five years ago. Is no, exactly twenty five years ago. You I was coming a kid. hard. You coming down hard <laughs> on on two young folks. Two, yeah. two newly young folks like I think she got something else going on and she wanted to just project her issues onto our podcast. I right. really think so. Well, I guess we, we wasn't gonna say nothing, but we say something. But I, was, I wasn't gonna it. say anything, but it is what it is, and we're fuck human. It. And if you say something, <laughs> if you say something, just you know, expect that expect the response at some point. Um, because at the end of the day, like I'm gonna make some stuff clear. Um, I am a grown, intelligent woman raised by some strong black women. Let it be known. And I'm educated. Let it be known. What we're not going to do is act like I'm some young dumb out here. Work. That's just like, oh, he met, He said we together on Facebook. So we together. We wouldn't have made it down the aisle, baby girl, if that's all it took. So let's let's get it straight. Please don't get it <laughs> twisted. It took more than that. Way that's... more than that. I don't play that game. Which is like, why you, you have <laughs> no idea the level of I'm sorry I went to do. <laughs> I know that's right. You, no you have no clue of everything. Just to just to make her understand that I'm just going down the street means I'm going down the street, not the creek. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it took a lot. It took a lot. Yep. So please don't get don't it get twisted, twisted that that's all it took. Baby, I had to work. To get it for this ring. Mm-hmm. Period. You know, you know how they always say, uh, oh, I'm make I'ma make him work for it. Well, I damn show I damn show work for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Best because believe guess that. what? Everyone who cheats is not a is not a cheater. There are different reasons as to why people cheat. And if you really give a crap about your relationship, then you're gonna take the time and communicate and talk about why that was. And why that should never happen again. Exactly. Period. That's why we talk about communication. And you, we got through that situation through communication. Exactly. So no matter what uh, topic we are covering, we're going to always bring it back to communication. But did you talk about it, though? That part. You got to talk about it. If you don't talk about it, then, hey, you might as well just... You're not going to grow. It's going to be toxic. It's going to be toxic, so you may as well just let it go. If you're not going to talk, then just let it go. Because it's gonna be toxic. Nobody's talking. Y'all just with y'all just assumptions and feelings hurt, but nobody's saying anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's what we we hope to, you know, convey to everyone who's listening. We are very committed to communication. And, you know, I just had to go ahead and address that individual. If you guys go and check out our um Check us out on Spreaker. This individual commented on Spreaker, and you can see what they said. But I just had to make make my point known. Like, look, Facebook is not all that it took for me to get over our situation, our, our infidelity situation. And then not only that, but this was when it within the first we weren't even together six months when it happened. Exactly so when, that part. We weren't even <laughs> together that long. So I decided to give him a shot to really you know, see what this relationship could do. And he proved me, you know, he proved to me that he was all of that and then some, and that he was not about that life. So when you first date somebody... still not about that life. The hell you mean? <laughs> that, look, it, I would be a fool to even remotely think about stepping outside of this marriage. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm happy where I'm at. <laughs> I like it here. I know that. I really, right. really like it here. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, this is the place the for option, me. I hate it here. No, I like it here. This is the place for you to be. Exactly. And I like it here, too. This is where we're going to be till death do us part. It's not a game. It's real life. It's the best decision I've ever made in my life. And at the end of the day, I'm so grateful to the Most High, to the Most High for blessing me mm-hmm. with you, being my partner for life, because no one has ever handled my heart the way you do. And that is that's that's some real that's some trill spill right there. That's real talk. 
Mm-hmm. No one has ever cared enough to handle my heart the way you do. And so no one has ever been worthy to be my husband. No one else ever will be, period. It's you and nobody else. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, make sure y'all tune in to the, the After Dark special um, when we finally Ooh. drop yeah. the two, we three. We promise we're going to drop, we, y'all. We're going to drop. It's the holidays. We're going to drop some new music. Speaking of which, we are going to get out of here, but y'all, please be sure to fi- follow us on social media of Aquarius Life. We're on Instagram and TikTok. And then, of course, follow us on uh, social media as well, Instagram and Facebook at Melodic. Um, I believe on Facebook, we're Melodic Music, and uh, on Instagram, we're Melodic underscore CMS. Now, Melodic is filled with a Y, so it's M-E-L-O-D-Y-C. Mm-hmm. All right, baby. You ready? Hey. You got anything else? Uh, love, peace, chicken grease, <laughs> beans, potatoes, tomatoes, all that chick, Hog, chick. Mold, Man, look, chicken I can't turkeys, wait. Chicken turkeys. Look. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, yeah. I'm going to go. Warm me up something real quick. <laughs> I'll let y'all. I'm done. Melodic. Need to show me. You know that I love you, baby. I'm prepared to show it. But you already know that I'm never scared to show it. And since you really love me, baby, you should really show it. But you should let me know. You love my slim